Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wirelessly transfer your data from your old smartphone to your brand new Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, the best tool to do this with by far is Samsung Smart Switch. We've shown it a couple times here on the channel, it gets better and better each year. This year, you're now able to wirelessly transfer from a non-Samsung smartphone to your Galaxy S8, which is pretty cool, something you couldn't do before. You can still do the wired option if you want to. Samsung does include the USB adapter and the cable to do it wired if you want to do that. But I think wireless is a pretty cool way to do this and a little bit easier for most people to sign and get started. Now, once you have the application installed from the App Store, either iOS or Android, you want to choose the wireless option as you've seen I chose here. Now, what you want to choose is you want to make the Galaxy S8 a device that receives. You want to make sure you choose the operating system they're receiving from iOS for Apple, obviously iPhones, Android for Android smartphones, and you want to tap on that. And then from here, they're going to try and pair and connect wirelessly using frequencies to try and get them two to pair together. Once you've gone through the pairing process here, it takes a couple of seconds or so for it to pair through. Once you've connected, you might have to put in a pin. Once you've done that, you'll see on your old smartphone, you'll be able to actually choose the different applications and different things you want to send over. And it's a lot of content you can send over. You can send over your apps, you can send over your images, you can send over your videos, documents, messages, call logs. You can actually get specific and granular down to what you want to come over and what you don't want to come over. Now, as far as apps, I don't think it brings over the app data necessarily, but it brings over most of the stuff because I did have to reset some of the apps from what I noticed. Now, once you've kind of gone through and you've kind of chosen everything that you need, you got everything set up, you can look above to see what the size of the data is gonna be and how long it's gonna take. Once you have all that ready to go, all you need to do from here is hit the send button. And once you've done that, it's gonna start the transfer process. It's gonna prepare it on your old smartphone, your new smartphone, you have to cl click on receive as if you did here on the Galaxy S8. And once you do that, now the transfer process begins. So we're gonna go ahead and let it go through this process. It takes a little bit of time or so to do that. So we'll go ahead and jump ahead pretty much into the next step that you're gonna see once you come past this first transfer screen. Now, once you see that, it's pretty much done here on your old smartphone. You'll see that all done here. Now on your new smartphone, you're gonna see where it's saving. It's basically unpacking and organizing all that data it just got and putting it in all the proper places that it needs to be on your new smartphone. This will take a little bit of time as well too. So we'll go ahead and let it go through the process and jump back in it here once it's all done. And there you have it. Once you're all complete, you're all set to go. Once you see this screen right here, now you can hit the more features button. And if you do that, you can actually organize how you want the home screen to look. If you want all your apps on the home screen, if you want an app drawer and whatnot, if you don't want to do any of that, just hit the home button. You can see right there, all the apps and everything's back and installed. You can actually go into your storage if you want to see your storage options and see kind of what's transferred over and how much data that you have left and kind of gauge how much you've kind of brought over there. But that's pretty much it. That's simple and easy. That is Samsung Smart Switch. Now, it took about 30 minutes or so wirelessly for me of how much data that I kind of transferred over. Now, it might be a little bit longer for heavy uh, smartphone users. It might be a little bit shorter for some others, but it just all depends there. But quick, simple, easy to use. Questions, comments, concerns, please post them below. Thank you for watching. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.